Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the ending of Supergirl and how potentially it might end and what is going to be happening. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is something that I've talked about a lot. I've made a few videos on it back when there was some sort of big speculation and, you know, I responded to it at the time. But now I wanted to make a kind of new video where I would talk about the ending of Supergirl because it's been like a month or so, maybe two months since I properly did a video on this. Obviously I did it after Supergirl was announced to be ending this season, but now looking back, I'm going to be speculating a bit about how I think the show will end you know, a few months into the future and we're kind of in a period where Supergirl is back, they're filming and we've seen some behind the scenes stuff and we kind of know what is happening this season even though we aren't fully in the know as of right now. Melissa hasn't even returned yet, but they have been filming a lot of stuff. Like even this week we got our first behind the scenes set photos, you can check out that video. I broke it down just a few days ago. That is the last video that was posted, so go check that out. And so yeah, we're at a new point. We are coming towards January when Melissa will return. We will start getting more behind the scenes photos. We'll get more insight into the show. Obviously you've seen like The Flash, they've been promoting some stuff recently. They were at a Comic Con event just like yesterday or something. And they had a panel there, and sadly they didn't release any new trailer, they just released the same one that they showed at DC Fandom. And also Batwoman had a panel there as well, and they actually released a behind the scenes look at Javicia in the Batwoman costume, so that was something new, that was very cool. But yeah, we should be kind of ramping up towards seeing more Supergirl stuff very soon, leading towards the start of the next year when Melissa returns, and then we should be getting some sort of promotion, you know, around March time, so in a few months time, hopefully we get some sort of first look, obviously we're gonna get behind the scenes look first, maybe a synopsis, some episode titles, because Superman Lois, Batwoman and The Flash have all released their episode titles, so I'm curious to see if we'll see something like that very soon, but I'm guessing we're gonna get more leaks as we head towards everything happening, and I'm presuming in terms of returning characters, we're gonna start hearing some more, because there's definitely gonna be conversations going on as of right now to try and lock in people to come back for the future, even if they don't come back for a while. Also, final thing, I was actually supposed to watch the new Wonder Woman film yesterday. Warner Brothers invited me to the premiere, but sadly I wasn't actually able to attend. But I am seeing Wonder Woman 1984 next Monday. Before it comes out, I've got another screening before it is released. So I will be releasing my review for Wonder Woman 1984 on my channel. And I'll be writing a review as well for Discussing Film. If you follow Discussing Film, you'll see my review there in written form. And that is going to be on the 15th, so look out for that. So, yeah, just a few updates to you guys. Now, let's fully go ahead and get into the topic. So, yeah, Supergirl and what will happen in the ending. Will we see any deaths? I think that is the main question people have been asking, and I've seen people talking about it consistently since Supergirl was announced that, you know, the show is going to end at the end of the season. And I think we need to look at other shows and what they've done before. Obviously, we've talked about Arrow. That is the big thing, right? Oliver did die at the end of the show. So there's precedent for a death of a main character. However, Arrow is a very dark show and they set it up to link him with Crisis, and so it made more sense that Oliver died, but I don't think they're going to do the same for Supergirl, because number one, Supergirl is a lighter show, it is a show that is all about hope, and I think if they killed off Supergirl, that would go against their main message for the whole show. That's not very hopeful. And, you know, we've seen some reports recently, especially from a certain site which will not be named reportedly saying Melissa is never going to return as Supergirl. I made a video on that a few days ago. Some of you guys saw that, I'm sure. Again, that was completely a lie. We don't know anything right now, and we actually don't know anything to do with Supergirl's ending. And this is why this video is pure speculation. I'm not going off of any news, I'm going off of what I'm thinking and talking about. So, you won't see any information about how the show's gonna end, because they haven't actually wrote the ending yet. 
like you know there's no way maybe there's some talks and stuff but pretty much you won't hear anything about that until you know later in the year well later in next year i mean and yeah so deaths what's gonna happen are any of our characters going to die i think it's likely that you know to amp up the stakes some characters may die maybe one character maybe two could happen you know there is definitely a possibility because in a lot of seasons a lot of main characters do end up getting killed off for dramatic sake you know to make a good story essentially to get people intrigued like if you remember the flash season three you had the whole storyline with iris dying and that was like a whole big arc throughout the whole season we knew iris was gonna die and she did die but obviously they changed it and they kind of used it in a way that was interesting because they had that big twist towards the end of that story so yeah major characters are potentially you know in the chopping board like you know there is a risk that they may die who do we have as our main characters we obviously have alex danvers played by kyla lee that is a possibility but i think because she is such a central part of the show yes it would be dramatic if she died but i think it's pretty unlikely considering she is actually like one of the most hopeful things in the show and you know she's got this whole storyline that potentially may play out this season to do with adoption i think that would be a good way for her story to end as we head towards the end of season six so i don't think killing her off is a good idea in terms of kara there is definitely a possibility considering if we compare to arrow but like i said wouldn't be very hopeful i don't think kara is gonna die lena there is a chance she is a bit nefarious at times Obviously, you've still got the story with Lex going on, and she's obviously heavily linked to all of that, including her mum. And so, you know, I think Lena is a bit more likely. Martian Manhunter, don't know about him. I feel like we're going to see him at some point, kind of like what David Ramsey just did. Because, you know, he just announced that he's coming back to the Arrowverse as John Diggle. Obviously, Arrow ended, but he's coming back on five episodes from all of our other shows. And he's going to return to direct like five episodes as well across the shows. David's been directing and I feel like David is going to return in some sort of capacity like that. Because he's such a beloved character. I think Kyla Lee could potentially do that with Alex. I don't see that happening with Katie McGrath as Lena. I don't see, you know, Makar Brooks coming back as Jimmy. But one option to definitely come back would be Nicole Maines as Nia Now because she is a fan favorite and I think they wouldn't want to get rid of her. She is definitely one of the most important parts of the show, especially in the last few seasons, and I think Nia potentially could show up on the other shows. That's definitely a possibility. People have been discussing that and I do actually agree. I think Nia will return at some point. In terms of being killed off, obviously the way that Brainy ended last season, it looked like he was gonna die. He's not going to die, but I think the ending of last season kind of proved to us that there is a chance that he could. That's basically it in terms of the main characters. I mean, you have a few other characters as well, like Andrea or someone like that, or William. I guess they could die, but I don't know how intertwined they're going to be in the story in this final season in Supergirl Season 6. It does seem like William is going to be tied up to Kara's story a little bit this season, so we don't know if, you know, that whole storyline is going to continue what they kind of teased last season to do with a potential relationship with William and Kara potentially could happen maybe William is put in danger but yeah let's move on to one of the other major questions about the ending of Supergirl season 6 and this is who is going to return we are waiting for this and we are kind of curious about this because with Arrow's ending and with all of these big moments on the shows, you do tend to get returning characters, some big major players coming back into the fold. And so who could potentially return? So let's have a look at who's left the show. We've got McCarr Brooks as Jimmy Olsen. You have Chris Wood as mon -El, Jeremy Jordan as Wynn Shot. You have Odette Annabelle as Samantha. You have obviously Tyler Hoechlin as Superman, who has his own show now. You have Callista Flockhart as Cat Grant. You've got Grant Gustin as Barry Allen. You've got Floriana Lima as Maggie Sawyer. John Cryer as Lex Luthor. We know he's going to be at the start. And then you've got, you know, a few other people like Amy Jackson as Satin Girl. And, you know, a few people out there. 
Anyway, so the point is, who is going to return this season in terms of major cast members from the past? It seems like maybe they're going to try and get some of those people back, especially with the announcement that David Ramsey's coming back. It seems like they found a way to bring back other people, right? I know David's going to be in Vancouver probably for a set period of time, like maybe like three months or something, where he, you know, stars in five of the shows, and then he directs like five episodes as well. So maybe something like that's going to go on with some of these characters and some of these actors. But in terms of Makar Brooks coming back, I feel like there is definitely a chance considering I think he's wrapped with his big film that he went to do, Mortal Kombat. And Makard definitely liked his experience, he loved the cast, so I think Jimmy is likely to come back. I think James Olsen probably will come back at some point this season, I would say towards the end. I think Jeremy Jordan is very, very likely considering he came back for like a three whole episode arc last season. Because, you know, he's such a big part of the family and I think it would only be right if he comes back and I feel like he would be down for that. Chris Wood talked about this, we mentioned it with Canada Graphs about a month ago on a stream, that it's actually pretty likely that Chris Wood is going to return, not only because did he return last season for the 100th episode, which he did, obviously that brings precedent for that because, you know, he already came back, but also because he is obviously married to Melissa, they just had a child, Melissa is going to be in Vancouver until August, it doesn't seem likely, considering all the restrictions, that they're going to be separated, like Chris is going to be living in LA or something like that. Obviously, there's still a chance that he has to be there to do some work or something, but it seems like for now, he's probably going to be in Vancouver, and if he's in Vancouver, he is technically in Melissa's bubble. You know, he is with her, he lives with her, and they have a child, and they travel together and everything like that. So it seems likely that at some point, he's going to be asked to return, and I think he will return at some point. And you got Odette Annabelle, that is a big question, because she did return, but then again, why would she return? She could return as Samantha, very unlikely she's going to return as Rain again. It was very cool what they did in the 100th episode, they found a good reason, and I'm not sure if they can find the reason again. But yeah, maybe Samantha comes back. You got Tyler Hoechlin, he's obviously filming his show, so he's going to be a bit busy, but he's still around, he's in Vancouver, so... I think Tyler's very likely. Same goes for Grant Gustin, obviously a big connection to Supergirl, as he was the first person to cross over with Supergirl when The Flash came over to Supergirl Season 1. And those two are fan favourites together, so I think Grant is very likely. Again, he's in Vancouver, so it pretty much, you know, says, yes, probably he's going to return. You got Callista Flockhart, don't know how likely, considering all the circumstances right now, she lives in LA. She has been reluctant to come over to Vancouver to shoot in the past, and especially in a pandemic, I don't think she's going to quarantine for two weeks. So unless things change radically by the time of the end of the season when they're filming in August, I don't think it's likely that Callista is going to return as Cat for the last season. Floriana Lima, what's going to go on with her? Not sure. Could be likely, but then again, it depends on Alex's story. Unless it's a small cameo appearance, I don't actually think it's that likely that Florian is going to return. John Cryer, again, he's at the start of the season, so I don't know if he's going to be killed off or something, you know, because that's what they originally intended to do with how they were going to end the season originally for season 5. But yeah, so that is about it in regards to how Supergirl is going to end. Obviously, we don't know the whole story right now, and in terms of what we do know, it's very little, and it's pure speculation as of right now. We've only been given a few hints by Jesse Raff, and he was talking about, like, it's a Legion-like story, and you'll see all of this different stuff in relation to that. We got a tiny casting announcement from this Nick guy, and I revealed it online. He's playing a bartender, so you guys know that now. I didn't make a video about that, but I released it on Twitter, and people were going crazy. They were like, oh, that's funny. Like, he was amped up to be such a big deal, but he was literally a bartender. I was told that like a few weeks ago, and I was like, of course, like, the CW would have announced it if they were casting some big new member of the family. And so yeah, that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did like it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.
Goodbye. I see red.